Hi, this is Andy North, official host of the Sanford International. And no matter what level of golf you play at, this is an area you can get better at. Think about saving shots around the green instead of wasting them. I'm going to give you a surefire way to do this. And by using one technique in chipping the ball, I want to choke down on the club. I want to get my stance set up a little bit open with a little bit more weight on my left side than my right. And then I want to, I want to turn the club back, swing the club with the triangle that's created between my shoulders and my hands. This is not a handsy operation. It's not a lot of hand movement back and through, back and through. And the biggest thing in chipping and pitching is you have to accelerate. It doesn't matter if it's a 10 foot shot or a 100 yard shot, there has to be acceleration. So I'm gonna start out. My idea is chipping the ball is I wanna get the ball in the green as quickly as I possibly can and let it roll out like, like you've putted the ball versus lobbing it in the air and trying to spin it and control that spin. That's much harder to do. So I'm picking a club that will carry the ball here about two or three yards, just enough to get over all this junk why you wouldn't be putting it. If you can putt the ball, putt it, but if you've got enough bad grass between yourself and the green, you obviously can't. So I'm gonna take a five iron. I wanna get set up and then I want just my triangle to control this shot straight back, straight through, accelerate, and the ball is going to go toward the target. As I get a little bit further away, if I hit this five iron and try to land on the green, it's going to go too far, so now I need to use a little bit more loft. I'll use an eight iron, for example, from here. Same technique. You aren't changing techniques. All you're doing is changing your weapon. Same idea. Back, through, accelerate, and the ball's going to go on the line you want it, and hopefully you've got the right distance. As you get a little bit further, further back, maybe now I need to use a wedge, something with more loft, because I've got more area to carry the ball over. Same technique. And then shoulders, triangle, back, through. And you're going to be able to control the shot much better. So you're going to eliminate a lot of those skulls and fat shots, which are costing you shots. This is a simple way to do it. Use a lot of clubs but with the same technique.